In a recent incident of cyber fraud, a woman reported losing up to 1 lakh rupees after she downloaded an app on her iPhone through an APK file shared on WhatsApp while at the Bengaluru Airport Lounge. An APK file is a comprehensive file that contains all the essential details of an app, including its code, assets, and resources. So, how did the malicious APK work? The only way to get an app on an iOS device is through the official Apple App Store, which are verified by Apple and routinely scanned for harmful code to protect users. However, users have the option to download and test unreleased apps by activating a hidden setting in iOS. This feature lets users try out beta or pre-release versions from developers. Unfortunately, scammers can exploit social engineering tactics to enable this setting, allowing them to install malicious apps that seem trustworthy. Once the harmful APK is on the victim's device, scammers often set up call forwarding. With call forwarding, scammers can easily intercept OTPS for transactions through phone banking. The major reasons for its prevalence are that the people often lack knowledge to identify and defend against social engineering attacks, which target individuals with active social media presence. Scammers exploit human greed, offering financial rewards, technical help, surveys, viral posts, and spoofed links to fake websites or malware downloads. To prevent cyber fraud, there are several important steps to consider. All Indian banks must include 160 in their customer care numbers to help customers identify legitimate services. Additionally, banks and financial institutions will have URLs ending with .bnk.in and .fin.in to ensure authenticity. Telecom operators are also taking action by whitelisting links sent through messages to the public. Strengthen KYC procedures, improve oversight, and ensure compliance to regulation. If we talk about the current situation of cybercrime in India, in 2023, Indian citizens reported losses of 66.66 crore across 4,850 cases of online scams. A report from the Indian Cybercrime Coordination Center I4C highlighted those digital financial frauds reached an astonishing 1.25 lakh crore over the past three years. The National Cybercrime Reporting Portal indicated that victims of digital financial fraud lost nearly 10,000 crore rupees in 2023. The Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance's report on cybersecurity noted that the combination of advanced technical skills, social engineering tactics, and an increase in data breaches has worsened the situation. Also, India was ranked fifth worldwide for the number of compromised accounts in 2023, with 5.3 million accounts affected. However, scams that utilize social engineering techniques and technical expertise are anticipated to continue. Solve this multiple choice question based on this video. What does an APK file contain in the context of Android applications? A. Only the app's code and executable files. B. Only the app's resources such as images and icons. C. Only the app's manifest and permission settings. D. The app's code, assets, and resources needed for the installation and operation. Comment your answer.